Right, hi everybody. Get out your homework assignment so we can go over them together. Really want to focus in on what we learned yesterday. So I want to go over your entire homework assignment with you. There's not really much more to learn today. We're just going to go over some example problems after the homework assignment and then we'll be good. Okay, first, number one. So first thing I have to check is to see if any variables are by themselves. The x's and the y's are not by themselves. So then I check the coefficients. Are any of the numbers the same? The answer would be no. So since they're not the same, I'm going to have to multiply to get them to be the same. Now if I look at the x's, I would have to do 5 times 2 and 2 times 5. If I look at the y's, 2 goes into 4. So if I multiply 2 by negative 2, then that will get rid of my y's. Remember we have to multiply everything by that negative 2. So your top still staying the same. 5x plus 4y equals 19. The bottom turns into negative 4x minus 4y equals negative 16. Now we just add the two equations together. 5x minus 4x gives you x. 4y minus 4y, those cancel. And so you get x equals 3. And you take that x equals 3 and you plug it back into either equation. 5 times 3 plus 4y equals 19. 5 times 3 is 15. 15 plus 4y equals 19. Subtract 15 over, you get 4y equals 4. So y equals 1. So your answer would be 3, 1. Number 2. None of the variables are by themselves, and none of the coefficients are the same. So we're going to have to multiply. Can 2 go into 3, or 3 go into 2? No. Can 6 go into 4, or 4 go into 6? So no there, too. So we can multiply both equations. If we start by multiplying the top equation by 3, what would be to get rid of the x's? Then I'm going to multiply the bottom by negative 2. Because I need them to be opposite signs. So that will give me 6x on the top and negative 6x on the bottom, which will cancel those out. That's the goal. So 3 times 2x gives us 6x plus 18y plus, or equals 28 times 3, which is 84. And on the bottom, negative 2 times 3 gives you negative 6x, negative 2 times 4 gives you negative 8y, and negative 2 times 22 gives you negative 44. Your x is cancel. 18y minus 8y is 10y. 84 minus 44 is 40. Divide by 10, y equals 4. Now we can plug that back in. 2x plus 6 times 4. So plugging this 4 in for y. So it would be 24 equals 28, subtract the 24, you get 2x equals 4, so x equals 2. So your answer would be 2, 4. Number 3, check to see if any variables are by themselves. If they're not, check to see if any coefficients are the same. They are. Two y's are the same, but they have the same sign. We have to multiply by a negative to make the second one a different sign. So it's 5x plus 2y equals 4. It becomes negative 8x minus 2y. See how our two y's are going to cancel now? Equals negative 10. Those cancel. 5 my 5x minus 8x gives you negative 3x. 4 minus 10 gives you negative 6. 
divide by negative 3, x equals 2. Plug that 2 back in for x. 5 times 2 plus 2y equals 4. That gives you 10 plus 2y equals 4. Subtract the 10 over. 2y equals negative 6. Divide by 2, y equals negative 3. So it would be 2, negative 3. Number 4, check to see if any variables are by themselves. So y is, since it's by itself, we can substitute this into the second equation. This is 4x plus 2 times 4x plus 3 equals 18. Distribute 4x plus 8x plus 6 equals 18. It's going to give us 12x plus 6 equals 18. Subtract the 6 over. 12x equals 12. Divide by 12, x equals 1. Take that 1, plug it back in up top. Y equals 4 times 1 plus 3. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 3 is 7. So you get 1 comma 7. Number 5. Check to see if any variables are by themselves. They're not. Check to see if any of the coefficients are the same. They are. It's a negative and a positive, so you don't have to do anything. Just add them together. 2x plus 3x is 5x. Negative 3 plus 3, those cancel, equals negative 16 plus 6, so that's negative 10. Divide by 5, x equals 2. Take that 2 and plug it back in. We get 2 times 2 minus 3y equals negative 16. It gives you 4 minus 3y equals negative 16. Subtract the 4 over. You get negative 3y. Should be a negative 2. So I need to add the 4 over because that was a negative 2. Add the 4 over, it gives you negative 3y equals negative 12. Divide by negative 3, y equals 4. Now, there are going to be some problems where the answers aren't pretty. But if you get one that the answer is not pretty, like this was going to end up like negative 20 equals negative 3y, that made me think I should go back and check to make sure I plugged in right. And then I found my error right there when I didn't put a negative 2 in. So, always go, book, go back and check whenever it starts to look ugly. So negative 2, 4 was your answer. Number 6. No variables are alone and none of the coefficients are the same. The 3 will go into 6. So 3 times 2 gives me 6. I need that to be a negative so that it cancels out with the positive 6. So I multiply by negative 2. It gives me negative 6x minus 4y equals 22. And 6x plus 5y equals negative 23. Combine the two. Negative 4y plus 5y. It's just y. 22 minus 23 is negative 1. Now solve. 3x plus 2 times negative 1 equals negative 11. Gives you 3x minus 2 equals negative 11. Add 2 to both sides. 3x equals negative 9. Divide by 3. x equals negative 3. So you get negative 3 and negative 1. Number seven, the x 
has a four x or has a four with it, but other than that, it's by itself. So let's divide the whole thing by four on both sides. That gives us x equals then four y divided by four is just y. Negative four divided by four is one. So it's x equals y minus one. Now I can plug that in for x. So 3 times y minus 1 minus 9y equals negative 15. That gives you 3y minus 3 minus 9y equals negative 15. Gives you negative 6y minus 3 equals negative 15. Add the 3 over to the other side. Negative 6y equals negative 12. Divide by negative 6, y equals 2. Take that 2 and plug it in up here. x equals 2 minus 1. So x is 1. Your answer would be 1, 2. Number 8. None of the coefficients are the same. No variables are by themselves. So we have to figure out what we multiply. 3 goes into 9 3 times. I need one of them to be negative, so I might as well make it this one. That gives me negative 9x plus 12y equals negative 30. Then on the bottom I get 9x minus 12y equals 30. Add them together. Those cancel. Those cancel. We've got 0 equals negative 30 plus 30, 0. Now when does 0 equal 0? Always. So that would be infinite solutions. Number nine, none of the variables are alone, and none of them have the same coefficient. This is a one, so we can multiply it by negative two to get rid of the two up here. If your top one stays the same, 2x plus 3y equals one, bottom becomes negative 2x minus 10y equals negative eight. 2x minus 2x, those cancel out. 3y minus 10y is negative 7y. 1 minus 8 is negative 7. Divide by negative 7, you get y equals 1. Plug that back into the top equation. You get 2x plus 3 times 1, so it's just 3, equals 1. Subtract the 3 over. 2x equals negative 2. Divide by 2. Get x equals negative 1. So your answer would be negative 1, 1. Number 10. 2x and 6x. Those are not the same. Negative 5y and 5y. That's good. We can just add those together. Those are going to cancel. I don't know why mine's crooked. 2x plus 6x is 8x. Negative 2 plus 34 is 32. Divide by 8, x equals 4. Plug that in. Get 2 times 4 minus 5y equals negative 2. That gives you 8 minus 5y equals negative 2. Subtract 8, negative 5y equals negative 10. Divide by negative 5, y equals 2. That gives you 4, 2. Number 11, x is by itself already. So I can just plug this in for x. So 3 times 2y plus 3 plus 2y equals 
41. Distribute this 3. 6y plus 9 plus 2y equals 41. Combine your like terms. 8y plus 9 equals 41. Subtract 9. 8y equals 32. Divide by 8. y equals 4. Take that 4 and plug it in up here. Get x equals 2 times 4 plus 3. 3 times 4 is 8 plus 3 is 11. So you get 11 comma 4. Number 12. I have an x by itself with a coefficient of 3. Now if I check and see if anything on this side is divisible by 3, it's not. So it's actually going to be easier to subtract this 4y back over to here. So it's 3x minus 4y equals 10. And then subtract this 4y back over. You get 3x minus 4y equals 5. Anybody see a problem here? It can't be equal to both 10 and 5. So you automatically know that it's no solution. If you didn't see that, you would multiply the bottom by a negative. Top would stay the same. 3x minus 4y equals 10. Bottom would become negative 3x plus 4y equals negative 5. 3x's would cancel, the 4y's would cancel, you'd be left with 0 equals 5. When is 0 equal to 5? Never. That's why it's no solution. All right, last two, number 13. I see that I have two x's in both of them, so I can subtract the bottom one. It's going to give me 2x plus 3y equals negative 1. And then negative 2x minus 5y equals negative 1. 2x minus 2x, those cancel. 3y minus 5y is negative 2y. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. Divide by negative 2, you get y equals 1. Take that y equals 1 and plug it back in. You get 2x plus 3 equals negative 1, subtract the 3 over, 2x equals negative 2, sorry, subtract 3 over, it's going to become negative 4, and so divide by 2, you get x equals negative 2, you mean negative 2, 1. Last one, glad I made it a good one. We have 3x minus 2y equals 7, and 5x plus 3y equals 18. Now for this one, 3 doesn't go into 5, 2 doesn't go into 3, so it's easiest to just multiply by whatever the other coefficient is. And so when you come across ones like this, you just got to multiply by the other coefficient. If the sign is the same, you multiply by the negative one, right? So see how this is 3x and 5x, they're both positive. But you can also get rid of the y's. And it's really just your own personal taste. I'm going to get rid of the y's just to show you it turns out the same. So I multiply this by 3, because this is a 3. So I'm going to multiply this by 2. So that's going to give us 9x minus 6y equals 21. Then... On the bottom, it's going to be 10x plus 6y equals 36. Six y's cancel. You get 19x equals 21 plus 36, which is 57. Divide by 19, x equals 3. Take that 3 and plug it back in into the first equation. 3 times 3 minus 2y equals 7. 
It gives you 9 minus 2y equals 7. Subtract the 9. Negative 2y equals negative 2. Divide by negative 2. y equals 1. That gives you 3 comma 1. And that's it. 6, 4, multiplication day 2. So, we're just going to discuss which method you should use. Number one, which method should we use? Well, I see that none of the variables are by themselves, and none of the coefficients match up. So I should use multiplication because negative or two will go into six. All we would have to do is multiply by three. Oops. So number one is multiplication. Number two, y equals three x plus two. I'll do 2x minus 5y equals 12. What will we do to get those, or which method should we use to get those solved? Well, with the y's by itself, so we can substitute it in to the second equation. So we would just use substitution. Last one, 2x plus 5y and negative 2x minus 2y, blah, blah, blah. I see a 2x and a negative 2x. I would just add those two together. And that would eliminate the x variable. All right. Today's objective, same as yesterday. Like I said, we're going to do one example, three of you tries, and then we're going to be done. Example one. So it's two x plus three y equals five. And negative five x minus two y equals negative eighteen. Is anything jumping off the page that we can do? Our variables are together on the same side, so that's no good. Our coefficients are not the same. 2 doesn't go into 5, and 3 doesn't go into 2, or vice versa. 2 doesn't go into 3, 5 doesn't go into 2. So we're going to have to multiply both equations. So I'm going to multiply the top by 5. Now, if I'm getting rid of the x's, I see that the signs are opposite. I have a positive 2 and a negative 5. So I'm just going to multiply by the positives. So I'm going to multiply by a positive 5 and a positive 2. That will make sure that it cancels out in the end. If these were both positives, I would need to make one of these a negative, or make this bottom one a negative. All right, 10x plus 15y equals 25. On the bottom, negative 10x minus 4y equals negative 36. Combine 10x minus 10x cancels. 15y minus 4y gives you 11y. And 25 minus 36 gives you negative 11. Divide by 11. Y equals negative 1. Take that negative 1 and plug it in back in up here. You get 2x plus 3 times negative 1 equals 5. Gives you 2x minus 3 equals 5. Add the 3 to the other side. You get 2x equals 8. And x equals 4. Gives you 4, negative 1. All 
All right, try these three you try problems. We can get started on your assignment. Pause the video as always and do the you tries. For this one, I see I can multiply the negative 2 by 2 to get 4. 2x plus 4y equals 10. And 6x minus 4y equals 14. Those cancel out. 2x plus 6x is 8x equals 24. Divide by 8. You get x equals 3. Plug that 3 in up here. 6 plus 4y equals 10. Subtract the 6, you get 4y equals 4. Divide by 4, y equals 1. Your answer would be 3, 1. Second one. Take the y and plug it in down here. You get 4x minus 5 times 3x plus 2 equals 12. Gives you 4x minus 15x minus 10 equals 12. You get negative 11x minus 10 equals 12. Add the 10 over. Negative 11x equals 22. Divide by negative 11. x equals negative 2. Plug the negative 2 back in. y equals 3 times negative 2 plus 2. y equals negative 6 plus 2. Or y equals negative 4. Could you negative 2 negative 4. And the last one. Oh no, we're only doing three. There's four on here, but we're only doing three. I'm not having it. I said three, we're doing three. We'll do four. All right, we'll do all four of them. All right. So, this one, none of our coefficients are the same, and they don't go into each other. So I'm going to multiply the top by 5 and the bottom by 2. Gives you 10x plus 25y equals negative 30. On the bottom, that becomes negative 10x. Minus 6y equals 30. These cancel out. Get 25y minus 6y gives me 19y equals negative 30 plus 30, 0. Now don't get confused. You can solve this. So you divide by 19 and you get y equals 0. Now you can plug that back in here. 2x plus 5 times 0 is just 0. So it's 2x equals negative 6. Divide by 2, x equals negative 3. Gives you negative 3, 0. All right, last one. We can just add these two together because it's the same coefficient and opposite sign. So 4x plus 2x is 6x. 15 plus 3 is 18. Divide by 6. x equals 3. Take that 3 and plug it back in for x. So 4 times 3 plus 3y equals 15. It gives you 12 plus 3y equals 15. Subtract 12 over. You get 3y equals 3. So y equals 1. Your answer would be 3, 1.
All right, guys, I'm going to get started on your assignment. Thanks for paying attention. Don't forget to email me any questions. Thank you to uh, that anonymous person again for emailing me. Nice work.